Hi there, I'm playing with my old radio again. This is the Saba radio from 1927. And although I'm not planning to make it work, but I noticed that these potentiometers here are total crap. So I decided to fix them, to clean them, to make them work again. And who knows, maybe one day we will receive some stations with this radio. And this is an almost 100 year old adjustable resistor. It's not a potentiometer because it only has two uh, connectors. So it's only a resistor which uh, value you can change from 40 or 50 to almost zero ohms. As you can see here we have a 50 ohm uh, variable resistor and the secondary resistor is also 50 ohms. It's time to test the resistor with the multimeter to see what it actually does. I already know its resistance is way too high so it's probably due to oxidation. So we have 18 mega ohm, that's the position where it's off. And then we have 70 ohm, 60 ohm. Remember, it's a 50 ohm resistor. So we shouldn't have anything higher than 50 ohms. But here we have uh, 500 ohms, that's way too much. I'm now testing the second resistor. Uh, they, these are two independent resistors with two different knobs. We are also starting at 80 mega ohm at the off position. We get 60 ohms, 50 ohms, always much too high. Although this one looks a little bit better here, goes down to 13 and goes up again. So. There is clearly something wrong with that one.
and after all that cleaning it's time to check the resistor again it starts at 46 ohms which is almost perfect 50 ohms was it new and it goes down to 0 0.8 something and then I go a little bit forth and back to see if anything changes but it stays at 0 0.8 for the lowest value and that's absolutely perfect And of course I'm testing the second resistor too and it has the same good values as the first one. I don't need to show you that, it goes from 50 to almost 0 ohms. This is the second resistor I uh, repair. The first is the one on the right side, uh, which turned out very well. And um, it is now time to see if it actually works, if the tubes begin to glow, because these resistors regulate the tube heaters. There are four resistors for four tubes, so each uh, resistor regulates one tube, one heater of, uh, of a tube. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why they uh, installed these regulators, but um, I guess uh, it's to improve the lifetime of, this, uh, of these tubes. In the manual uh, they wrote uh, you shouldn't uh, apply full voltage to the tubes. Um, they don't say for what reason, but I think if you apply only half the voltage, these tubes will almost uh, last forever. I mean, they are already 100 years old and maybe they're still working. I don't know.
And now it's time to test the heater circuit. I'm applying 4 volts as specified by the tube data sheets uh, to the heater and ground and we will see what happens then. Main switch on and first tube 50 milliamps, second tube 100 milliamp, 170 for the third and 250 then total for all four tubes at, at the minimum setting. And again with a little bit more power. And it maxes out at about half an amp. So it's two and a half watt of heating power here for this radio. And at least the heater of this one tube here is still working, as you can see. Okay, thanks for watching.